Today is our first full day exploring Cabo San Lucas, one of Mexico's most famous beach resort towns. We are going to see what the fuss is all about and we're also going to show you what lies underneath the surface of that beautiful blue water that they have out here in Cabo. One of the most beautiful spots you can go to in Cabo is we're pretty close to now, Lover's Beach, Divorce Beach, at Land's End, but you can actually only get there by boat, so you need to hire a boat to go there. But we actually read somewhere that you can also get there by passing through this beach and then climbing over some really steep rocks, which doesn't sound like a good plan, does it? I'm not gonna lie, it's looking a bit more difficult, especially to get up the rocks than I thought it was gonna be. I'm channeling my Intermountain Goat. <laughs> Some people online said it was either not possible or dangerous to attempt to hike the Lover's Beach as you have to climb past these giant steep rocks. But there were also a lot of people who had done it and said it was challenging but doable. So in the name of science and adventure, we are going to try. One small step for man, one large step for Kim. So far, so good, actually. Here we see a rare species of <laughs> mountain goat in its natural habitat. We don't know why these mountain goats come here. Could be a mating ritual. <laughs> you wish. <laughs> As beautifully blue as this water is, these waves right here are deadly. The Pacific side of the ocean around Cabo is known for dangerous rip currents and undertows that drag even the strongest swimmers out into sea. We have no idea how to get from where we are now to the other side that actually has the nice beach. Technically you can get there, but it's a bit tricky. You have to squeeze between some rocks. I don't have a lot of grip here. Here's it? No, I literally can't. Like, look, there's no step here. I'm, I'm there. This is like, I can't get out. You can do it. That's oh. it. Woo, the water's coming in. Wow, look, look, look. Go, 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 go. Go, 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 go. Yeah, baby! Woohoo! We made it! I do not recommend that route if you're not much of a clamberer. And if you are gonna do this, do it at low tide. Like only when the water is out. The name of this beach is Divorce Beach. I don't know why it's called Divorce Beach. On the other side, it's called Lover's Beach. But I have my own theory that uh, this beach is really dangerous. I mean, you can see the waves behind me. And this is basically like the end of this peninsula, the land's end. There's nothing more Mexico that way and that way and that way. So if you want to get divorced and want to get rid of your spouse, have them take a swim here. I think that's why it's called Divorce Beach. It's like That's easy. how you get widowed, not divorced. I think it is the spouse, the, the, the husband, he thinks he can go into the water and just swim back and it's nothing. And all these other people trying it are just pussies. The waves aren't that bad. He ends up getting rescued by a chopper and that is why they call it Divorce Beach. Yeah. I like my theory better. Time for a bit of love on Lover's Beach. There's more people here because, well, you can actually <laughs> swim here without risking your life, which is always pretty nice. Wow, just look at this. So what are the 
the most beautiful beaches I've ever been to actually. And it's, especially it's nice. since it's so secluded. Yeah, especially so secluded. It's not there's like a a good amount of people here, it's lively, but it's not busy at all. In our previous video, we actually celebrated Christmas in Cabo as well. Oh yeah. And then we went to a different beach. Over there. <laughs> that one is not nearly as nice, like not even mm. remotely close to this one. There's only one beach you have to come to when you come here to Cabo. Lover's Beach. Lover's Beach, beach baby. <laughs> so what do you think? Should we uh, climb back or...? We want to take the water taxi. I think we're gonna take the water taxi because we spent a good few hours here and the tide is coming in. And I don't yeah, want to do that when it's not, that when it's it's not low tide. Be careful, be careful. Oh, thank you. So you can take this water taxi back to the marina, that's $10, or you can have like a short pit stop at the arch and to go watch the sea lions. But we have something very special planned for tomorrow. Um, so we don't need that right now. Tomorrow we are gonna go scuba diving over at the arch. It's going to be completely awesome, I think. which is like a super Mexican version of a beer. It has chili in it and loads of other stuff. Cheers, we've never had one. It's like a Mexican beer chili cocktail. Is it good? Oh, it's good. Oh, the chili is good. It's really good. If you give this to somebody in Belgium, they'll kick you out of the country. They'll just kill you. Yeah, they'll kill you. Not bad. We like it. <laughs> Look at this seafront seats with swings right at the harbor here. Guys, what a beautiful view of the harbor. It is time, people. It is time. For our time. favorite activity. Time for our favorite thing in the whole wild world. Scuba diving! One of the reasons we actually came to Cabo is because it's known for marine wildlife. This period of the year is actually a really, really good time to go scuba diving here because there's loads and loads of things to see here. This time of year, a lot of very special marine life migrates to this part of Mexico, to Baja California, such as whales, whale sharks. There are sea lions around here pretty much all year long. You can see sharks, you can see giant schools of rays. It all depends, of course, on how lucky you get, but that is just some of the stuff that's out there in the water. Everything is possible, nothing is guaranteed. Today we're actually going diving with Dive Ninja Expeditions. They invited us to come diving with them and they're gonna show us some of the best things that uh, Baja California, especially here Cabo San Luca has on offer. Hola! Hola! Welcome Hi. to Cabo San Luca! Thank you! <laughs> Jay. Hey, Jay. Oh, nice, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. How are you? Nice to meet you. How are you doing? Try on the gear, see if it fits. Looks like it's a brand new suit. I hope that I can be the first one to fart in it. <laughs> I'm so, so, so excited for this diving. <laughs> Almost knocked the lamp. <laughs> Perfect. All right. It's like a glove. Oh, please. <laughs> it's too hot. Did you try it? Yes, that's. <laughs> was it too big for you? It was too small. Oh no, this one's fine. And then I'll, I think it's better with you. Blessing is a meme of our boat, apparently. The guys are over there setting everything up for us. We literally don't have to do anything. Keep your eyes closed, we'll <laughs> yeah, see it all perfect. for you. You don't even need to dive, you can stay on the boat. Yeah, and you we'll dive for you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
So today we're also going to be filming on the water and brought our uh, normal GoPro camera that we have. And in addition, we also rented this baby here. This is like a fancy higher end underwater camera. It can make close up shots of whatever you want, like these small little creatures, or if you have a really big shark, you can also go pretty close up to it. And now we are at Land's End. And as you can see, the Arch there is one of the best diving spots around here because they've got something really, really special. They've got sea lions. Well, it's not guaranteed to see them because I mean, they're wild animals, they might be resting, but they are around here and if we're lucky, we get to see them. We've never seen sea lions before. We keep the island on the left-hand side and we will go towards where all the boats are now. That's where the sea lion colony is. And we'll have a look if we can spot them in the water, if they want to see us, if they want to play with us a little bit. Of course! <laughs> are no words to describe the awesomeness of this dive. Like seriously, one of the coolest dives I've ever done. Those sea lions, that was just, They're just it was nuts. 20 minutes, they kept moving around us, playing with us. It was Circling, amazing. it was they amazing. They brought out the babies. Amazing. And they swam over close, like super, super close to us. Yeah, just one meter from me. And I think they were like, look kids, the big ones, the small ones were like, look kids, those are humans, don't go too close. <laughs> oh my god, it was amazing. Just amazing. Here we go. Enjoy. They've got some wraps here for the surface yeah. interval. And uh, we're now driving the boat to a really, really good dive site.
we already saw so many things, different fish, big schools of fish, lots of small stuff and, and something I've never seen before. A big school of, no, what's it called? Mobile race. No, it's not mobile, it's Kano's race. A really big school of Kano's race, there were like, I think 20 of them. Just circling past us and oh, I've never seen that before. And if you're not a scuba diver, that is not normal underwater marine life. That is like, oh, it's really good. <laughs> I was quickly looking at the footage that we have and it just looks so cool. I mean, just look at these sea lions playing underwater like little puppies. Well, they're, they're the size of me, but then probably two times or three times my mass. A really big, big thank you to uh, Dive Ninja Expeditions because uh, they invited us to come diving here. Beautiful cowboy. Everyone was super nice, super chill. Um, so a big thank you to Jay and Marco, our guide, and the rest of the team as well for making this truly awesome and thank truly you. unforgettable. They actually also just got an award for being one of the top five dive centers in the world and the best dive center in Mexico. And if you come here, you should definitely dive with them. So again, a big thank you to Dive Ninja.